Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today I thought we'd get real expressive with paint, watercolor, and use a little few watercolor pencils. We're gonna paint like we're the Cezanne or Monet, Amane. Real expressive with watercolor. We're drawing simple apples in the shape. We're splattering color, we're adding color. You just want expressive watercolor. It doesn't have to be this intense, serious looking painting. It's apple picking season, so this is a perfect painting to do if you like apples. If you're a Patreon member, you get the extended version. It's a little extra. I go over some more details on the apples and whatnot. Um, but anyway, if you're not a Patreon member, maybe you should look into that. Um, you can find the link in my description box below here. I hit the word show more. Patreon is where people just go to support my channel and also I get extra extensive videos on Thursdays and extensive videos that are on, on YouTube here. They come with traceable sometimes photographs um, the higher tier has uh, a live stream once a month and we also have a Facebook group which is great you can share what you're painting and do a chit chat there's also weekly challenges and monthly giveaways so you can check it all out in the link in the description box so without further ado let's get expressive let's have fun let's paint like we're like Monet and Monet and going crazy in the studio and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section so here we're going to create a painting kind of like the impressionistic, like a Cezanne or whatever, something like that. You're just drawing some simple apples in a bowl, like, you know, in a circle for the bowl or plate and some more apples here, just simple round shapes with some stems. And I'm going to go back over this with a watercolor pencil. This is like a brown, just kind of getting a little tighter with my marks here, kind of being loose out here with the bowl. You want to have fun with this. Gonna go back in here and go out here. This is a deep brown color. You can use a different color, but I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go outline in a loose kind of manner around my apples like that. See now it's even more deeper and darker. You can choose another color if you want to. It doesn't always have to be brown. It can be a blue color. It might be kind of fun to play with blues blue and then you can play with some flat wash brushes or some uh, I would use like to use my Princeton 12 depth in series now apples don't always have to be red they can be some green apples we can do some bright green apples or I have my cabin yellow deep um, we can add a little bit of Prussian blue to get that you know granny smith apple color for the apples themselves I'll take some crimson alizarin crimson I'm sorry, this is, is this crimson? This is, I think this is Kunakuro magenta, <laughs> or it could be crimson. Uh, yes. This is permanent loser and crimson, in the whole buying. And I'll add a little yellow to that. So it's a red. It's like a nice, I'll add some more crimson to get a little deeper red. More of a Macintosh kind of red. Not like a super bright red. I have a pie roll red, um, which is kind of nice. I can play with that. Put that over here because that's the deeper color. So I'll get this colors kind of ready to go. Clean up my brush and I can start to play with some of that. Just go in here and I'm really not painting it completely. See I'm just kind of throwing the color in like really loose going outside the line inside the line make it a little bit brighter over here. I can do another green one. Just expression like that. You see how I painted that really super loose? We can put some green and like make it like a Macintosh apple. So again, I'll add some green over here. I'm just tapping that in real quick. Now I'm gonna grab my red. The consistency is pretty loose. Uh, my coffee, a little bit of tea, it's gonna blend in with this color here. Even a little bit thicker with the paint so it doesn't bleed as much. We do that. So now that red's getting a little more intense. And then we can do some pie roll red. It's more like this could be more of a uh, red delicious kind of apple. Really kind of see how I'm just kind of throwing that color pretty thick. Leave a little white. Hey, little right there. That's the apple. The redder one. Grab some of that pie roll. Put that back here. I like the kind of mixture of the red and green. I lost some of this green in here. I can lift the paint up. I'm going to go back 
and make some more bright green for this one. So I'll put that in there. I'll let it sit for a second, and then I'll add the red. And then I'm going to add red in this one. Um, this is that orangey red I had before. Kind of go around here. And I'll add a little bit of pyrrole red going in here. Really just loose. Adding it in while it's damp. You see how just, that's the expressionist did. They just really didn't have like this perfect little painted thing. While it's still damp with some of the colors, the green, we can add some deeper green. I'm actually adding some more Prussian blue, yellow, and a little bit of burnt umber. Kind of getting it down in here for some shadows. Throw some of that in there, maybe even some brown. See, just tapping, tippy tap. <laughs> a little in here where the stem's going to go, and definitely in here, a little brown, a little green. We can add some of the same brown kind of happening in the stem area here. Play with that a little bit. Cleaning up my brush. Now I'm going to go back in and add that red in here. I'm going to use cadmium red light and some magenta, um, um, crimson. It's a little too wet. I want the paint a little thicker, so I'm going to go back and grab my pyro. I'm going to mix it with my cadmium red light, and it won't move as much. There we go. Again, we're having fun just loosely painting them with the number 12 Neptune series. All right. You can kind of remove some of that color now. We'll start to play with some grays. So I've got some ultramarine blue, burnt sienna here, make a nice gray, bluish gray. I'm going to start to play with adding that kind of color. You want a little more blue intensity, put that out here. Just like that. Thick paint, ultramarine blue, kind of going in here. Still leaving that. Ooh. That. You gotta have fun with your watercolor. <laughs> you can water this down with a little water underneath this bowl. Have it bleed, add a little brown, a little gray, which is paints gray. If it's on the table, it doesn't have to be just the blue like that. Notice how I'm moving kind of fast. That's the whole point. Add the gray, right? And for the bowl, you can make it a nice brown. I'm gonna move some of this blue. Grab that burnt umber. I have raw umber. Again, you can put some of that brown over in here. You can make it like it's on this brown table, but the blue shadow. See that? I'm leaving some of that white. Kind of go back in here. Get the brown with some uh, paints gray for intensity. Just like that, the shadow. For the bowl, maybe more of a yellow, beigey brown like a yellow ochre kind of color. Or even a little orange or something like that. Or like a basket kind of color. Maybe make it a little more brighter. I'm just gonna fill it in. Except leave this part a little bit lighter on the ends here. I'm gonna grab a little of my gray. Going to tap that in here. This is the paint's gray for the depth inside the bowl and a little outside here. It's still damp. Grab that ultramarine blue. I'm mixing it all up in here. A little shadow. I'm getting tense with this stuff. And a little, it's getting a little too wet, so we'll just tap this a little bit with a paper towel. Move some of this paint and adds a little texture. All right? And out here I'm going to blend and bleed some gray. Out here. Put a little gray kind of happening out here with some red, maybe a little blue. You can splatter a little bit, grab some brown, the yellow. 
tap it, splat it, and get some little texture happening. Really kind of fun, right? Let's get this bright yellow back in here with this wonderful apple. Right, and then in here, we've got kind of bled this guy a little bit. We can kind of lift it up, remove some of that paint. And fill in the bowl in here. I'm gonna do like the stem, so I'm gonna mix the brown with the paints gray for the stem, really thick, like minimal water. Coming out here and down, same thing out here. If it's some of it's bled, that's fine. Get that impressionistic kind of feel. Thicker paint will kind of happen in here with some paints gray, a little blue, just right in here. It's still a little damp, so be careful not to have it bleed into the red too much. Just gonna tap it in a little bit here and a little bit under here that yellow area so now they're kind of like popping up the page a little bit i really like the ultramarine blue so i'm going to go back and put some of that in some beautiful intensity of color remember it's an expression really thick Look at that intensity of that blue kind of go out to the side Right here is pretty much a nice expression. You don't have to go too crazy. I might want to lift some of this paint again. A stiffer brush would help more than the 12. If you had a Neptune, excuse me, a, a Velvet Touch Series brush. I'm just gonna lift to get that highlight there on that bowl. And lift on this side. You're tapping back on the paper towel, removing some of that color. Just like that. Use the brush to have fun with this. Again, I'm gonna go back and add a little more red in here. If you need a little shadow, you can grab some blue, a little bit of paint gray. Kind of put the shadow underneath this apple because this one's in front of it. See how it's bleeding into that? I feel like this one just got a little flat. So we can kind of remove a little bit of this paint too. Again, just tippy tap. Kind of blend that back in there. It looks a little more 3D. And get a deeper red with the pyro red and a little color on the bottom here too. I wanted my apples to have a lot of expression. You can see it already happening here. If you see like the little white, I don't mind the white. I can add a little, um, the bright green, maybe a little bit deeper, deeper green here on this side to get rid of some of that white that makes no sense. And that's pretty much it. You can play around with scraping. But the intensity of color, moving the paint with a credit card. Right here is a great expression of painting. Simple, we've done it under like 12 minutes. Um, if you want to add a little more detail, you can take the, take some colored pencils, go in and draw in some color. You know, I'm doing a little orange, a little green. You can add some stems, you can add some leaves. Play around with that. Didn't have any leaves here. Again, going back in with the colored pencil. Even use a charcoal pencil. You get more intensity with the color with the black for the expression. I've used this many times and when it gets wet, it's kind of cool what happens to it. Right there. Um, you can use some salt in here. Again, like kind of twisting and turning the paper gives it a little more texture too which is kind of fun, but you really want to have some intensity with the color. My whole point is to get real intense with the color. 
So you can go back in with just a really bright, thick ultramarine blue. Get right in there. See, now the paint is really thick. You can really highlight the apple and the bowl with that blue. Going right around that. And just really make it come out, come alive. You can go in with the blue inside the apple here. If it didn't show up, you can kind of lift some of this color. And I'll go back in with the blue. So you see the blue intensity of the color happening right here. Now it kind of shows, right? Why not put some other colors? You want to put some bright yellows. We've got a lot of greens here, but even just bright yellow, thick, right out of the tube. You can start to play with some color. And that's that. Really kind of simple, kind of fun. You want to add a little wash of color in the background, a little beige, a little yellow, a little gray, splatter a little color. Maybe it could be even orange. Get a little orange, gray color. Really, see I'm just doing some simple color back here for effect. You have a wonderful color here. If you don't like it too bright, you can kind of lift it with the paper towel. So the background can have a little more yellow, a little orange. I did some yellow, I did some orange, I didn't really like it. Go back in a little lighter orange. Let's see how I like that. Like really kind of pretty and intense. Color. Sometimes it's all there is is color. Look at that just changes the whole picture and the energy of the paintbrush just moving like that you can see it in the picture you gotta really play people play with color play with strokes all that stuff and all your paintings will come out really wonderful there you go so like I said if you're a patreon member you get the um, extended version and if you're not, maybe consider joining Patreon. So I hope you enjoyed this expressive tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And take care, and I'll speak to you soon.